We're about to break down Todd McShay's post-combine NFL draft big board. We're going 1 through 16, the top 16 players. The second half of that top list is coming tomorrow, so make sure you guys are subscribed for more NFL draft videos right here on our new NFL draft YouTube channel. You're watching NFL Daily here on Chat Sports. I am Tom Downey, and we're breaking down Todd McShay's post combine NFL draft big board. 32 players in total in ranked and are ranked, and there's no change at the top. Bryce Young at number one. The Alabama quarterback stays in that spot. And also staying at number two is his teammate. Will Anderson. So McShay does not make any changes on those top two, but there were changes almost across the board the rest of the way. CJ Stroud slides on up to number four. Uh, the very accurate Ohio State quarterback here who has helped himself out since the college football playoff. For the most part, I think people view those with one exception we'll get to later on is the top quote-unquote players, factoring in maybe some quarterback value there. But I want to hear from you. Who do you believe is the best player in the 2023 NFL Draft? Go vote for me in the comments section. Number four, Tyree Wilson. And uh, outside of like the top defensive player, Will Anderson, and we'll get to Jalen Carter later and what's going on there, there's a bit of a drop-off for me, but Wilson's length and just the size of the going to be really appealing to NFL teams. Peter Skaronsky up one, one spot here. The left tackle at Northwestern might be a guard in the NFL. 32 and a quarter inch arms, right about what was expected. That is basically unheard of for NFL tackle length. A big jump for Bijan Robinson. I do find it funny, and this is not the best example of, there's some other ones we'll get to in a moment, of like massive jumps in the top 10 or 15 of our prospects rankings for, for a, media, a major media guy like McShay. Don't you know who these guys are already? Shouldn't you have a pretty good locked-in top 10? A slight jump here to number six, but he's been high on Bijan before. Christian Gonzalez from number 16 to seven. Uh, he tested like the way we were hoping he was going to. Big guy, great athlete as well. Uh, he's going to be a potential top corner off the board this year. Paris Johnson up two spots. The Ohio State offensive tackle. Did not do the 40. It didn't really need to there. This is a pretty much top 15 lock in this year's draft. Now, if you love the NFL draft like I do because I am a nerd. Help us grow our NFL Draft YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash chat NFL. Free videos going up there. No ads right now either. Help us grow it. More NFL Draft coverage exclusively on that channel. Check it out. YouTube.com slash chat NFL. Number nine, Michael Mayer, the tight end from Notre Dame. Tested Good enough. We knew he was not a, a premier athlete. That's okay. He does everything else really, really well. Here is a massive jump. Nolan Smith, who was not ranked on McShay's last big board, despite being, I think he was like top 10 on his preseason one, was not ranked. Skyrockets of 10 following his 4.9 30-yard dash and the elite athletic ability that he, that he showed there. We've had Nolan's, or 4.39, thank you. We've had Nolan Smith on our top uh, first round big or first round mockers like the entire time, but to see not top 32 to top 10, it's just kind of weird. And I would not be shocked if Smith comes back a little bit down to earth after the combine because that's that might be too big of a jump for for what should be just athletic testing. Number 11, Lucas Van Ness, the defensive end, defensive lineman out of Iowa. Also put up great combine numbers. If you've been subscribed, you know we, we were expecting that uh, type of athletic ability from Van Ness. He and Nolan Smith, curious where they, where they end up going. Two very different size profiles. You're, you're talking 6'2", 238 listed, 6'5", 272. Different players all the way, but both great athletes at their size. Number 12, Quinton Johnston out of TCU. Uh, came in a little bit slender -er -er and shorter than expected uh, for the Horned Frogs at the Combine. Did not run, but had great uh, jump uh, production there too. He stays at number 12, one of the few players staying in their current spot. 
Number 13, Jalen Carter, the defensive end out of Georgia. He slides from 3 to 13 solely because of the arrest and uh, over reckless driving charges and racing action with the, with the crash that unfortunately killed his teammate and a recruiting staff member. Uh, arrangement hearing is set for April 18th, but uh, on Carter's front, there will be plenty of time to figure out what happened here. McShay had made some comments about uh, character concerns with Jalen Carter. This is not what he was talking about. NFL teams did not know this was a shock to them at the combine itself. The character stuff for Jalen Carter was, ah, you know, he was he's a young guy. He's 21. There's some general immaturity stuff that goes on there. Nothing to, to scare you away. The coaches kind of run a bit hard to get the most out of him, but he'll be fine as he ages. That's what the character stuff was. Not this uh, misdemeanor charge. I bet when it's all said and done, Carter's still going to go in the top 10. Number 14, Will Levis, the quarterback from Kentucky. I just, ugh. He scares me, man. He really does. He is the number three quarterback on McShay's big board ahead of Anthony Richardson. So pick a quarterback of this group. WL for Will Levis, AR for Richardson. I think I would rather gamble on the younger guy with higher upside in Richardson, but oof. There's, there, there, there's some understandable fear with both those guys. Pick one for me. WL for Will Levis, AR for Anthony Richardson. Jordan Addison came in a little small, uh, you know, in the 5'11", low 170s. The 44940 was not the best, but he does get open, and teams will like that. Welcome to the top 16, Devin Lewis. He was unranked last time. We, we tried to tell Todd here. Uh, awesome production at, at Illinois this year. Uh, I'll never forget, uh, it was, I think it was Josh Jones uh, one year was out of Houston, was unranked at the Senior Bowl. He ended up being a top 75 pick, which was kind of funny that they did, ESPN did not have him there. Well, this one's going to go early. Did not run. A little skinny, but he's got awesome play at Illinois. 